Hello there everyone and welcome back for another mod review. Today I have two really nice mods to review for you guys. First we'll be taking a look at a powerful Ford F650 hauler. That thing's just a beast and it runs just great. Then we'll be taking a look at the Merlot Turbo Farmer version 3.0 telehandler. That was a mod from Farming Simulator 17 converted over to 19. So what I'm going to do is explain a few things regarding these mods. We'll go over the shop and check out some of the specs. Then I'll get them out on the road and test them on out for you. So let's take a look. Okay, let's start on over here with this awesome pickup truck. This is the 2018-2019 Ford F650 Hauler version 1.0. Fall size for this is 158 megabytes. There's two different engine sizes to choose from. Starting at 221 kilowatts and 300 horsepower, then up to 294 kilowatts and 400 horsepower. Price in the shop as is is 15,000 with a zero dollar a day maintenance fee. This has a max speed of 120 kilometers an hour. It's also multicolor and has two bumper options over in the shop. Now let's go over to the shop. We'll take a look at that. Under cars. There it is right there. 15,000. That's pretty cheap. Now it comes in red just like that. But like I said, you can change the color here. And you can change the design color as well. So whatever you want. Uh, the bumpers you can take stock or with this on the front engine setup you can take stock tow tune and that boosts it up a hundred horsepower so you definitely want to go with the bigger one even fully loaded it only costs 16,000 that's pretty good but pretty nice looking truck I must say has a ball hitch here and here I don't know what you can hook there I was thinking a goose neck but I think that hooks to a fifth wheel if I'm not mistaken but uh, there might be something out there we got a little fuel pump up here as well so I think it looks pretty good in that color this has a really nice lighting system as well. See the F650 there. Let's get rid of that. Okay. That thing looks great. Yeah, look at all the lights on the back and everything. Okay, let's jump inside. We'll start it on up. Very nice. Okay, lighting system. We got one, two, three four light settings I'll bring you around to the back look at all the nice lights on this our reverse lights work our brake lights work let's try our signal lights very nice let's take a look in the front very bright lights yeah I can see it on there on the side okay hazards good to go okay horn Works just fine. No beacons on this. Let's look inside. Really nice interior. That looks just fantastic. You can see all the lights inside. It's all lit up. Very nice. Now that mirror obviously doesn't work in the middle, but the two outside ones do. That one's not quite on center. Maybe they could fix that in an update. But that one's a little off too. Yeah, maybe they could fix the mirrors in an update. I didn't see any errors in the log. So uh, the tack and speedometer, there's no needle on it, but besides those little things, it handles great and it's pretty powerful at 400 horsepower. So let's take it for a quick little spin here. She's pretty peppy. Handles great. See if we can open it up here a little bit. Hundred and twenty we got it up to there, not too bad. Yeah, that thing's a little beast. I think because you got the ball hitch you could actually hook on to the loading wagon if you wanted to let's back up here a little bit how far can you zoom out not bad pretty far out okay so we can hook to that no problem oh wow you can power it too 
All right, now onto this little beast. I remember this from Farming Simulator 17. They got it converted over to 19 now. This is the Merlot P41.7 Turbo Farmer version 3.0 telehandler. File size for this is 9 megabytes. There's two different engine sizes to choose from, from 86 kilowatts and 117 horsepower up to 103 kilowatts and 140 horsepower. Pricing the shop as is is $90,000 with a $0 a day maintenance fee. This has a max speed of 40 kilometers an hour. Now some added notes to go over. This has a 7 meter height with rear pivot axle. It's also multicolor. We'll go over the shop right now. It's going to be under telehandlers. There it is. 90,000. Yeah, there's a few things you can change. The, the tires you can change. One, two different configurations there. This here doesn't move, it just goes to communal when you take the Nokian tires and then back to standard if you take the uh, Trelleborg. So you can take it with tint or no tint on the windows. You can also take it with without the protective bars on the window. So if you want to do some forestry or something, very cool. You can also scroll down here a little bit and then there's your engine setup. So it's 117 horsepower right there. You can pop that up to 140. So two different engine sizes to choose from there. Very nice looking uh, telehandler. It doesn't come with a bucket. You just have to use the uh, telehandler bucket that's in the shop, the vanilla one. So let's take a little walk around. Yeah, that is the vanilla bucket there. Turbo Farmer, 41.7 plus. This is really nice. The hitch on the back. Maybe they could fix up that little logo on the side. That'd be nice if that was a different color there. But this side looks great. I like that. Maybe touch it up with some black or something on the other side. Okay, let's zoom in here. Oh yeah, check out the uh, zoom on this thing. You can go pretty far out. Not bad. All right, let's start it on up. Sounds really nice. Okay, let's try out the lights. One, two, three light settings, nice and bright. Try out the signal lights. Hazards, I didn't see any errors in the log. Horn. Oh, wrong button. And our beacon in the back. Everything works just beautifully. We got no reverse lights. We have brake lights. Let's try the signal lights in the back. Nice and bright. Very nice. No, just no reverse lights. But that's fine. Yeah, it pivots in the back, but you can see it also turns in the front too. So this thing is pretty tight turning. There's our boom. Controls just like any other front loader. Can we extend that? Yes, we can. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty big. <laughs> I got a big old boom on it. Holy. Just look at the length of that. That's cool, man. It even looks like it's kind of wore down there a little bit. Very nice. Okay. We'll get this back to the farm. And we'll test it on out. This thing drives so smoothly pretty tight handles the corners well you just got to be really careful just like you got to tap it but check out this hairpin turn boom no problem okay so we forgot to look inside the cab didn't we there's the interior very nice job speedometer works as well I like the reflection on that looks very realistic mirrors seem to work very nice. Let's open up our toolbar here, see if there's any other controls. Let's go on the outside. Oh, okay, so you can just have it so it turns in the front. That's cool. I didn't notice that the first time around. So it doesn't turn as tight, but you can handle it a little better if you uh, change the steering mode with left control. Or left, yeah, left control and Y. So that's a pretty good option to have. Oh wow, it has the uh, the crawler, like the uh, saddle track. See how it's going on an angle? That is very cool. I did not notice that the first time through. That is sweet. Let's try that again. Control Y should go the other way. Yeah, Control Y should reset it now. That is cool. Okay, we're going to test it out on some uh, chaff over here. I have a tipper set up and some chaff on the ground. Let's see how good this Thing works all right let's fire up our turbo farmer here it won't work on that because that uh, I kind of messed up there that was from a previous mod and I took it away before emptying it so it will not move 
But what I'm going to do is fire this off. And I have a whole big pile of it over by that big tepper. Now, I was going to demonstrate on this little tepper here. But seeing that it has a uh, 7 meter boom, it should be able to get it in there. So let's test this out, guys. This thing's great. It works just fantastic. Oh, I've got a little mirror there, too. Oh, it's too bad. It don't work. But very cool. Nonetheless. So this is straw actually. The texture's all messed up because of the update. And this is an older version of the map, so don't mind that. It's actually straw. Okay, let's extend the boom. It almost fits like that. Like the, look, that's long enough for God's sakes. Pretty much. Just extend it a little bit more. Look at that. Not a problem at all. Very nice. Let's try another. I like how it looks war on the upper boom. Like it's been wore down a little bit. It just gives it that realistic look. But very nice little telehandler. Lights are nice and bright on it too. And does his feet move? He's not pushing on the pedals. His wrist looks really bent. <laughs> but this thing's cool. Yeah, right on. Thanks for bringing this over to 19. And there you have it, folks. That was the 2018-2019 Ford F650 Hauler version 1.0. False size for that is 158 megabytes. Then we have the Marlowe P41.7 Turbo Farmer version 3.0 telehandler. File size for that is 9 megabytes. Additional information and links can be found down below in the description, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe you can leave a like on your way out. And if you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen. Then hit the subscribe button and the bell. And I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and Let's Plays every other day. Plus, my Patreon link is just below that if you'd like to help me contribute to the channel. It really helps out. So, until next time, take care, and I will see you all in the next one.